Hi, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to explain the future of untethered jailbreaking on iOS 5. Now, first, real quickly, I'm going to explain a tethered jailbreak means that you have to plug in your, com your iPod into your computer every single time you want to restart it. So if your iPhone runs out of batteries, you have to go on a computer and, j re and basically run the jailbreak again. It doesn't take as long. We have to run the jailbreak again to use Cydia or anything like that. So that's why most jailbreaks that you use are untethered. So you can restart your iPod. It acts perfectly like a normal iPod. So like the jailbreak me jailbreak, that's untethered. Now the thing is that iOS 5 has included something called an API ticket that Apple has updated. Um, it's another thing that Apple is using to fight against jailbreakers. API ticket requires an authentic API ticket entry every single time your iPhone reboots. So usually they only do that each time you restore your iPod, so so it's easy to jailbreak that way. But now only Apple has the crypto keys to properly sign every single time, every single time you use an API ticket. So the only really way to jailbreak in an untethered way is to crack the API ticket. The dev team's blog states that there are still many ways to jailbreak the untethered way, but they aren't going to talk about anything because of the beta stages that iOS 5 is currently in, and they don't want to give Apple any hints. So the only way to jailbreak is by cracking the API ticket, which the dev team is working hard on right now. The reason we can do a tethered jailbreak is because of the shatter exploit, which is used in Lime Rain. Now, what this basically does is it's a booram exploit. So before your device even starts up the iOS, the hardware or the BIOS system of your iPod has already been jailbroken. So that's why you can always do a tethered jailbreak. But the untethered jailbreaks are becoming harder now because Apple continually steps up to the plate. Now, here's a cool analogy that I found. Um, let's say you want to drive from Chicago to California, and Apple has closed off Route 66 that we've been using for the last five iOS's. They've closed on that route, but there are still other many roads to get there. We just haven't traveled on any of them before. So um, what that basically means is it's going to be hard to find a new road. It, the, the jailbreak will not come right away. It'll be a good month or two before they even discover how to do it, let alone release a, the full stages of a program. Like Red Snow and Snow Breeze, those are probably going to be the first ones to have untethered jailbreaks, and then there might be a user land jailbreak following. So that that's what we have to look forward to in the untethered jailbreaking of an iOS 5. Many, many people out there say that it's not possible, but it's possible, it will happen, but don't count on it happening anytime soon. Be patient. You, you can't edge these people on because if it weren't for them, you wouldn't be jailbroken in the first place. So um, all we have to do is really wait for it. And until then, you can enjoy iOS 4, or if you really, really want, you can do a tethered version of iOS 5. So I hope this helped. Don't forget to rate. And thank you, everyone, very, very much. I have hit 100,000 views. So in honor of that, I have created a brand spanking new Twitter account. So you can follow me at iPodTD. So feel free to do that. And thank you all for your help. And I hope to get hundreds of thousands more. Thank you. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.